So many people love the arts and other subjects are so special to everybody and it deserves to stay. Exactly, especially in this area, this college is the only college where people without GCSEs can go and get a GCSEs and then go on to progress and it's the only college which allows all of different courses. You have BTECs, A-levels, vocational courses, it's the only one in the area so without it, a lot of people will be disadvantaged, especially in this area. I think it's really unfair because there's a lot of talent in the area and it sets back a lot of people um, because they don't have a space where they can work um, that's local to them, where they can also see other people that's like them creating work. Yeah, the course they're cutting is uh, performing arts. Um, I think they're cutting a couple language courses as well. Spanish, Spanish A-levels, fine, uh, arts, fine arts, philosophy. Yeah. Philosophies. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Social care as well. Social care, social health and social care. care. That's ridiculous. Half, <laughs> so yeah. So um, how, half the college. They want to be on the opposite of a, a hospital, but they want to cut the health and social care. Yeah. Course. It doesn't make sense. Another thing, also the reason why we're also protesting is not just because of that, but a lot of health and safety of staff and students has been um, put at risk. For example, they got rid of a lot of security, but hired health safety officers, which don't have the same training as a security. So they're putting a lot of students at risk also a lot of things like students with additional needs are not being taken care of and they're being ignored putting them at more disadvantage and this has all been done while mandeep's been under power so we need him to be removed because he's no longer serving the people you know that is what they, they took away the disciplinary system as well so it's, it's led to more students being destructive like when uh, performing arts students are in class uh, people would usually barge in and disrupt the lesson and nothing's being done about that which is another reason why, why the strikes have gone on for so long and as well I think even during one of the lessons that we were in we saw the fact that um, some students were actually setting fire to something outside of the classroom which is, is it's actually crazy to think that something like that is happening in a college where you're supposed to be getting an education and even feel safe for that matter but yeah and instead of that's crazy. safety officers going to sort out that issue our own teachers had to go outside to disrupt that whole entire situation so it was a good and i think most importantly if he can't hear or listen to his teachers and hear and listen to his students he's just generally unfit to be the prince area unfortunately isn't one of the most fortunate areas of London. That being said, most of the colleges or six ones here only, um, only have facilities for the academics. Newvik is one of the only colleges in Newham, which is quite a big borough in itself, that can cater to people who want to pursue arts or want to pursue the performing arts or want to pursue something that's out of the academic norm and it's important that we have something like that here because a lot like we said before there's a lot of talent that is in Newham but it's never pursued simply because there is no educational system to support that but Newvik was providing that but with what this principal is trying to do of education or the only source of um, further education and further support that people have to pursue the creative arts or to pursue languages or to pursue even BTECs or um, BTECs T levels. Newvik is one of the only college that has a wide range of BTECs and he's trying to get rid of that. And I think moreover it's not just one of the only colleges but it's a very successful college. Uh, a lot of us go on to do big things and come back to keep in contact with the college and work with the college. Um, even on our course we've had lots of alumni who've gone to really um, high level universities to come back and teach with us and work with us and without this college it's like where will they go, who will they teach and um, who do we learn from. Fantastic. You want to say you something? think it's also very helpful for people who don't get the highest grey boundaries 
which is definitely a plus as well, making it more inclusive for everyone. Yeah. So can you tell me about the social health service and the medical they're caught in here when it's close to the hospital? So they've cut a lot of budget in and a lot of um, a lot of health study students have com been complaining that some of the things that they've been able to do before, like go to different places and trips like that have been cut. So it's putting them at a disadvantage immediately because whereas before they could go to different places and learn from there, they're not given the same opportunities. Also, the fact that this college originally started with so many different language courses and it's been cut down and now you want to get rid of the only one. And also the thing is, studying Spanish is also good for people that speak the language because it allows them to get a... Um, to get an A-level in something they know so they can then use it in a professional way, you know what I mean? And it's just really disappointing because a lot of these courses have industry professionals come in and also a lot of students get direct jobs because of this course and we're not able to do that anymore. Like I worked with, um, we worked with a dance company called Boy Blue and because we worked with them while at Nuvik, I've had job offers by them to come and do their lighting and tech like that. So without this uni and without you know, without this college and without you know these courses, we won't be able to do anything. It's so important to have people from this area being taught health and social care in this area, um, because then they're able to take care of the people in this area um, and look after the local community and contribute. Um, and when you don't have that, you might have people coming from outside who might not understand uh, the issues in the community that people face. They've made the claim that they, there's not enough funding. Um, however, um, I think that Mandeep is trying to take the school in another direction um, without actually taking into account what direction the school actually needs to go in um, for the needs of, once again, the community and um, his students. Also, Mandeep himself said there's three million pounds extra. So he's talking about finances and saying there's, that's why they're cutting a lot of the courses, but that's not actually the reason. Also, a lot of choices he's made, for example, he's hired, for his, one example is for one job, which only requires one person, so he's had three people. So he's, he's talking about financial decisions as if that's the main issue, but he could easily solve that. Also, he last year he tried to make the college academy. So so we already know that he doesn't really care about the community and what the community needs. He only focuses on becoming an um, academy and money for himself, not for the community. And I, think, I think financial issues aren't really the main problem because he'll take the money and he'll use it for construction around the school which isn't really needed. We already had a sign in a process where we just go in and sign our cards and for about a month or two months he made us enter into a different direction which makes it more inconvenient for a lot of students. And yeah. <laughs> this college has spent a lot of money on construction, unnecessary construction. For example, at the start of our first year, they created this entrance point for the library, which is already within the college. And then this year, they wanted to upgrade the gates for safety reasons. However, it's not. The way they constructed it wasn't functional. For example, the entrance that they made the year before to the library is open to the public and they're blocking that off, which means they've constructed something which is now not being used because they wanted to construct another thing. And this costs so much money to bring in people and then to re and have facilities, um, bring in materials and things like that. However, when it comes to the needs of their own students, things as simple as resource books or things as simple as the rooms that we actually use, or for example, like Miriam said, because they cut down security, there were a group of students who assaulted one of our teachers and then um, destroyed the door to our classroom. And that door is very important because it provides us with the privacy and also the safety to work in our space. However, they spent almost a month trying to fix that. And then our theater, because we do physical movement, it's very important that the temperature of the room stays warm to avoid injury. However, it's been how many years and they still are unable to fix it. So clearly this man does not know how to use his money. So if anything, he is the reason why we are in any kind of financial crisis. Talking about This Mandeep, man is the principal Mandeep, Mandeep, Mandeep Gill. Gill. Mandeep Gill. <laughs> yeah. Also, Mandeep Gill is not being held accountable for a lot of stuff he does. For example, another event which resulted in teachers and students' safety being at risk is in the art department, there were five students that came in masked 
and held a class and it, with students and teachers in the room. And Mandy knows who those students are, but he's not taking accountability and getting them in trouble because there's no disciplinary system. And also because he knows that he will end up getting in trouble as well because there was no security to protect that room. So those students have not been in trouble for any of the actions they did, which caused a lot of students to be afraid now and they don't even want to come into class and learn because they're afraid that they're going to be held up by a group of people. You know, it's disgusting. Yeah, go on. In November of this year, we had about five or six students break into our music studio um, whilst we were in there and they came and attacked some of the students. They got into a physical fight and some people left bleeding and so we've had issues like that um, over the course of the past two years where the safety is really, um, there's not much safety at our college at the moment. Was built in the community for the community and a lot of people have put money into this for the community so for them to make it private and take that away is disgusting also the fact that if they do that they're putting a lot of students um, at risk of not being able to go to college because of the grade boundaries here are a lot lower so students can come in with no GCSEs and get GCSEs and then go on to study a course here but if they do that and make it private then a lot of students won't be able to do that and it will put them at a disadvantage which won't help the area as well because Newham like Christine said Newham is not an area where it's financially well off. So instead of investing in our, our young people and helping them to be able to make the area better, if we make it private, they're not going to be able to... Because at the moment, I'm a third year student studying at Greenwich. I'm an alumni of this college. So basically, I just want to just point out that Zuri, Annie, John, Crockford, you know, teachers at the drama department have helped me to become who I am today. Because if I wasn't here today, because before coming, to, before coming to this college, I was not confident at all. And they have raised a fire inside of me. So they put the fire inside of me, put the confidence in me. So they've supported, nurtured, and given me the confidence to be the person who I am today. I would say um, keep the college as it's going and save the arts. I guess one final thing to say is uh, stay optimistic and stay strong because eventually we'll pull through. We'll pull through.